Hi, I'm Leila Goltz. Uh, I work at Games Global as the Chief People and Transformation Officer. So I've been in this industry for over 10 years now, um, which, which feels like quite, quite a long time. Um, I think initially it was quite a new industry um, when, when we started off and what's really attracted me to it and to remain within the industry is the sheer fast pace, um, the actual diversity within it um, and how innovative it is as an industry. Um, you know, there's it's constant innovation, it's constantly at the forefront of technology um, and it's always moving forward. So at Games Global we are always looking out for the best talent um, and that's I suppose the policy and the approach that we take um, to, to getting the best people in the door and um, to move obviously the business forward. Um, we, I think from that, um, you know, where we've brought um, the business together, what we have found is by design of being open to diverse talent, it has led us to the, the situation that we're in now, which is a really positive one, in that our C-suite is a 50-50 gender split. Um, and what's interesting is when you go um, throughout the business and look at the gender split within, um, it's not just there. So we have um, on uh, overall, globally, it's around a 60-40 split. Um, but as we approach and go up to our head of levels, it, it's, quite, um, it's quite an even split between male um, and female, uh, which I think is really um, uh, quite special and um, particularly for for this gaming industry and I think it's just reflective as to how Games Global operates and um, you know as, as an employer. For me it's encouraging that we're seeing more and more women um, coming through um, the doors and, and filling great roles. When I started um, in the industry, um, you know, it, it was really heavily male dominated um, and, you know, particularly at that, that senior level and um, there were a lot more men, you know, filling, filling the roles um, and over the past 10 to 15 years I've certainly seen a shift, you know, it's not just women filling HR roles, um, you know, within the, the company, you know, one of our tech hubs out in Estonia, that actually has a 50-50 split between men and women um, and that is heavily um, tech within that operation. Uh, we're seeing a lot more mathematicians coming through, um, a lot more software developers coming through. Um, so it's really exciting, you know, to see that the work, I think, you know, lots of um, lots of businesses are, are striving towards getting more and more women, um, you know, into these, these roles. So for Games Global, um, you know, we operate in, in many different uh, jurisdictions um, and globally, um, not just, you know, with our customers, but with our employees as well. And it's, it's crucial that we have diversity uh, within the workplace. Um, you know, if we, if we don't, how can you service, you know, a multitude of customers from, from different backgrounds, different cultures, um, you know, understanding the nuances that go with that. So it's, it's, really, it's really key, I think, for any successful business that are operating globally um, to have diversity embedded within their culture. Really, really proud that at Games Global, um, you know, our gender split um, throughout the business um, is approaching that 50-50. So we're at 40-60 now globally. Um, within our sea level, as I mentioned, um, we have a 50-50 split. Um, and within each of the, the more senior levels within the business, um, it, it is quite equal, um, which I find fascinating actually, because in comparison um, with, I suppose, our competitors and within tech, um, it, generally you see the more junior roles being more 50-50, um, but that kind of, um, that balance becoming very imbalanced, the more senior that you go within the business. Why? Um, 
we've been so successful at that um, isn't because we've implemented quotas um, you know within it I think it links back to our values of that authenticity um, and it's about encouraging people to bring their best selves to work um, we have um, a CEO um, and a C-suite who are very um, very supportive of you know looking out for the best people um, you know bringing them in and also understanding that you know differences in in personality diversity of thought you know regardless of of who somebody is um, you know if you bring a mix of people together um, it's only going to help to really kind of you know enable that innovation and um, generate that creativity and you're constantly as well going to be you know challenging one another in a very constructive way but to make the best happen um, and to drive the business forward. Um, within Games Global and within our team, within the people team, we really encourage that through our success tracks. Um, we also have um, a number of um, e-learning platforms where we'll encourage like direct people to, to go to. Um, we have um, coaching available, we have mentorship schemes available within the workplace as well. Um, and we have a very um, open and I like to think approachable C-suite as well that people can dip in, you know, come and talk to us, um, you know, and get support and direction and hopefully a little bit of inspiration. <laughs>Games Global, we are growing, um, massively so. Um, we I'm really quite proud of the fact that we have quite a large um, talent team, again globally, um, and we currently have, I think, around 70 positions globally um, around the world um, at all different, different levels um, and within all different professions. So we have our tech roles, um, we have our more corporate roles um, and we have you know our really creative roles so I feel that there's something for, for everyone and um, you know particularly if they are looking to either shift and move into the gaming industry um, or they're looking to, to start their career here. During 2022, um, one of our real strategic goals has been aligned with that foundation of support, develop and grow. Uh, we've put a lot of investment, um, driven by our head of talent, who sits obviously within our people team, whereby we have been specifically looking at ways in which we can actively encourage and support development within the business. Um, we launched uh, during the summer um, our success tracks. And what we do there is we have a track um, for all all different types of development and growth so it's not just um, say going into leadership or managerial there is a leadership track but there's a technical track as well for people that really want to specialize um, you know within their technical field we have um, uh, like an essentials training um, as well within that and we are very um, very um, committed to coaching and development and um, so we're really embedding a coaching culture within Games Global and again we do that um, globally um, across the business um, so I would say you know we're, we're very very committed to development and growth within within Games Global and, and really you know the opportunity is there it's, up, it's just up for the taking. advice I would give would be be bold um, be fearless um, have faith and have confidence in yourself and your and your abilities uh, look out for um, you know a mentor or a coach um, even if that's something like really informal and um, just to bounce ideas off um, on somebody that really inspires you and surround yourself with people um, who you know will actively encourage you to go in and seek your goal